First, a huge shaggy head appeared from behind the bushes, and then the beast itself got out and stopped a few steps away from the goal. It was a magnificent atlas black maned lion. Amina froze in place, struck by horror and admiration at the same time. The lion roared, and the mountain echo picked up and spread the menacing roar throughout the surroundings. The beast moved towards her, the girl screamed in fear and awaked. The sun was already setting. Dash my god. She fell asleep right on the grave. Well, it will fly to her from her mother. Grabbing a copper jug lying nearby, Amina took one last look at her father's grave, and rushed home as fast as she could. People were already returning from the mosque when the out-of-breath girl ran up to the house, hoping to slip inside unnoticed, but the mother, who was driving the birds into the chicken coop, just came out to meet her. Dash, daughter. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. The woman looked sternly at Amina, and the girl guiltily lowered her eyes. Dash, I visited my dad's grave. Don't swear. After all, you know that I haven't been there for a long time because of illness, and I really missed my dad. I miss him so much. Dash, we're all pining, daughter. Dash, the woman wiped away the tears. Dash, do you think dad is in heaven? Amina asked. Dash, does he see us from the sky? Dash, I don't know. Nobody knows that. But I hope so. After all, he was a good husband and father she didn't have time to continue. The eldest son returned with the herd and with the news. Dash, a huge lion with a black mane was seen in our neighborhood. Rashid shouted from the doorway. The young man's eyes were sparkling. Dash, I need to fix dad's gun. If I'm lucky, I'll find and kill a lion. Amina shuddered, remembering her dream, but said nothing. Dash don't even think about doing that. Dash grandmother intervened in the conversation, who was lighting a fire in a clay oven nearby, and heard her grandson's words. Dash how can you after all, most likely it is the spirit of the hero Hamza, in the form of a beast that has returned to our region. Grandma, tell me about the hero, Rashid and Amina immediately exclaimed in unison. Dash be patient a little. I will definitely tell you. Here I will bake cakes, make tea, and you will hear one of the amazing stories of the past years. No one in the village could compare with grandma in cooking. And she was an excellent storyteller, so the grandchildren were looking forward to when tea would finally be served. Dash I heard this story from my great grandmother, the old woman began the story, many, many years ago there lived in our region a young man named Hamza. He was strong, brave, handsome and noble. No wonder he got such a name. There was only one thing missing money. And the father of the girl, with whom Hamza had been in love for a long time, demanded a large ransom for his daughter. The guy had to go to distant lands and look for wealth there. The girl promised to wait. The young man was lucky, he earned a ransom, but he did not find his beloved at home. Did she get married? Amina asked excitedly, and the old woman, smiling sadly, stroked her granddaughter on the head. Dash no, she died of some serious illness. Hamza could have married any girl in the neighborhood, but he remained faithful to his Hadija and devoted his life to people. He helped the poor, protected the weak, repelled, at the head of the warriors, the attack of enemies, and received in return the great respect of fellow countrymen, eventually becoming the leader. He lived a long good life surrounded by love and honor. People called him the Atlas Lion for his strength, nobility and beauty. And when Hamza died, a huge lion with a black mane appeared in the neighborhood. People began to whisper that it was his spirit, which took the form of a noble beast. Hamza's beard remained black even in his old age. No one dared to hunt the lion, and the beast did not touch either people or cattle. And once he even protected a shepherd from a pack of jackals who attacked the herd. Since then, there has been a rumor that Hamza appears from time to time in his native places to protect and protect his land. And with his disappearance, troubles and misfortunes will come. Dash so don't even think about hunting a lion. The old woman looked sternly at her grandson. For a long time she recalled various legends related to the black-maned lion, and Amina was already asleep, lulled by a fairy tale and a quiet singing grandmother's voice. The girl dreamed of a lion again. He was standing two steps away, but Amina was no longer afraid. She knew that the beast would not harm her. Summer slowly ceded its rights to autumn. The days were getting shorter, the air cooler. And in the morning, the girl did not want to get out of a warm bed at all, especially in the season of prolonged rains. But my mother and grandmother needed help to get water, feed the chickens, sweep the yard. And there were many other cases. On this day, the sun finally came out after a whole week of torrential rains, and my soul felt warmer. Amina was entrusted with a flock of sheep since her brother and mother had left for the city. Just don't take the herd far from the village, the mother warned. Dash you've heard about the lion. It is unlikely that this is the legendary Hamza. Especially do not believe in old wives' tales and be careful. The ground was wet from the rain, there was a lot of fresh grass, and the sheep happily pounced on the treat. Amina sat down on a fallen tree, taking out a piece of tortilla from a bag. She didn't have time to have breakfast and was happily eating warm pastries when she heard a sound nearby. The girl listened. The sound was repeated. It was like a groan. 
but it wasn't a man who was moaning. Dash who is it? Amina jumped up and looked around in fear. The pasture was not far from the cave. The girl never went there, fearing bats and other inhabitants of the gloomy place. The groan came from the cave, and Amina hesitated. Should she go or not? However, curiosity overcame. The girl carefully crept up to the entrance and looked inside, but immediately recoiled in fear there was a huge lion lying in the cave. Looking in again, the girl saw that the beast was not moving and was breathing heavily. The snake crawled past her, writhing, and Amina realized what had happened. A poisonous creature bit a lion, and he's probably dying. The girl came closer, timidly touching the beast. He didn't react in any way. The lion's mouth was open, saliva was flowing from it, his eyes were clouded, he was breathing heavily, and, it seems, his fate was decided. Amina remembered her brother's words and realized that this was the lion he was talking about. The girl felt terribly sorry for the noble beast. Dash, but how to save him there was nothing she could do but bring water. And the girl rushed to the nearest stream. Having filled her copper jug with water, she returned to the cave and tried to pour some liquid into the mouth of the beast. After spilling half of it, the girl still managed to get the lion drunk, and it seemed to her that he felt a little better. She sat down next to him, stroking the beast's head and saying softly, Dash don't die, Hamza. I know that it is you who have returned to your native land. I LL tried to help exclamation point Lev, without blinking, looked at the girl, and it seemed to her that he understood everything, but could not answer. Amina sat in the cave until sunset, until it was time to return home. She had been in bed all night. Sleep did not come. The girl was worried. Dash what if the lion dies? All some hunters find him and kill him. As soon as it was light, she rushed to the cave. The lion was alive. Also immobilized, but alive. And he looked better. Amina brought water again, and this time the lion was able to drink himself. Since then, the girl visited him every day, happily making sure that the beast was recovering. True, he was still weak, but he tried to get up, and soon he succeeded. Staggering from weakness, the lion approached the girl and rubbed his muzzle against her cheek, and Amina hugged the big shaggy head, saying affectionately, Dash I knew that you would defeat death. After all, you are a hero. And heroes don't give up. Since then, the lion has been rapidly recovering and soon left the cave. He probably went away from the village. And the girl got bored. She got used to the beast, fell in love with it, and felt some kind of spiritual connection with the formidable predator. But she understood that it was not safe for him to stay here. From time to time, Amina came to the cave, hoping that the lion would show up, but in vain. The girl could not share her sadness with anyone, fearing for the life of her friend. After all, the news would instantly spread around the area, and many hunters rushed to look for him. Winter was approaching. Soon the roads in the mountains will be covered with snow, and she will not be able to come to the cherished place anymore. Thinking about it sadly, Amina was approaching the cave when she heard the cracking of breaking branches. A huge wounded enraged boar was rushing straight at her. The girl was standing at the entrance to the cave, and she had nowhere to hide. If the beast drove her inside, it would trample her, tear her to pieces, and it was too late to run. Amina closed her eyes, saying goodbye to life, when suddenly, a lion flew out of nowhere, knocked the monster down and attacked him. Soon, the dead boar froze motionless literally two steps away from the girl, and the black-maned lion shook his head as if greeting, turned around and disappeared into the thicket as quickly as he appeared. When the horror and confusion let her go, Amina went to the boar and picked up the torn fang of the monster from the ground, hiding it in a bag. As a reminder of her noble friend who saved her life today. Time passed, spring replaced winter, then summer came. The lion no longer appeared in these places, but one day Amina saw him in a dream. For the first time, the beast spoke to her. He only said one sentence colon quote be afraid of a stranger, what could it mean? Dash the girl was wrecking her head. Strangers rarely visited their places. Sometimes buyers of carpets came, which were woven by village women, but they were mostly known by everyone. The solution soon came and turned out to be terrible. One night there was a knock on the door. Dash who's there? Yawning, my brother headed for the door. Amina also woke up. Dash I'm a traveler. Dash the stranger answered outside the door, I was walking through your village further into the mountains and lost my way. Let me spend the night and warm up. It's terribly cold outside. Rashid started to pull back the bolt, but Amina stopped him. Dash don't open it. You can't. Dash what does that mean? Dash he asked sternly, it is unthinkable to refuse a person a bed for the night, and even in such weather. He started to open the door, but Amina beat her brother to it. Dash you can't come to us. Dash she shouted to the stranger, we have smallpox in our house. Grandma is seriously ill. And the neighbors are sick too. The disease is rampant in the whole village. Rashid looked at his sister in surprise, but something in her eyes convinced the guy not to let a stranger into the house. There were hurried footsteps outside the door. The stranger walked away, and the girl breathed a sigh of relief. Dash why did you lie? 
My brother asked. Amina didn't have time to answer. There was another loud knock on the door. They were gendarmes. The squad was looking for a fugitive criminal, a murderer and a robber. It's scary to think what could have happened if they had let a scoundrel into the house. Fortunately, he did not have time to escape. Dash how did you guess? Rashid asked in surprise when the gendarmes left. I don't know myself, the nurse replied evasively. Dash I just felt the danger. I can't explain it. But in her heart, the girl Fermi knew that Hamza was protecting her native places from harm. Once again, the days and months ran one after another. Dot dot the usual chores and worries took up time. There was more trouble, because my grandmother was seriously ill and did not get out of bed. Caring for the patient and many other household duties fell on Amina's shoulders, but she was not discouraged. It's a pity the lion didn't come again, neither in reality nor in a dream. Amina kept this friendship a secret, and only at her father's grave, complained about the disappearance of her unusual friend. However, the lion signaled again. One night Amina woke up to a voice calling her. Dash, get up. Hurry up. The girl jumped up, lit a candle, looking around in fright. A small table in the corner of the room moved by itself, an earthenware mug with water fell to the floor, a chair staggered and fell. Dash earthquake Amina jumped out of the room like a bullet and ran to wake up her family. Dash wake up faster. Dash she was bothering her mother and brother. Grandma was carried out in her arms. After making sure that everything was all right with her family, the girl rushed to warn the neighbors. Soon the whole village was on its feet. It was an eerie sight. The walls of the houses were shaking, as if a ferocious giant was shaking them, wanting to break them. Several dwellings collapsed like houses of cards, but, fortunately, no one was injured. And the girl again mentally thanked her noble friend for saving her. The year 1912 was approaching. My grandmother died and was buried next to my father. Rashid was preparing to join the army. While doing household chores, as usual, Amina heard excited voices and looked out into the street. A crowd of people gathered there, loudly discussing something. Dash what happened? Dash the mother also came out to the noise. Dash hunters found a huge lion that was wandering in the neighborhood, Rashid explained, they managed to shoot it, but the lion got away from the chase. They're going on a search. I'm going too. The brother rushed into the room and soon came out with a gun. Dash no. Amina sobbed. Dash don't touch the lion. This is my friend. It's Hamza. Dash stop talking nonsense. Dash my brother got angry, you are already an adult to believe in fairy tales, but the herd needs to be protected from predators. It is quite possible that the lion is not alone. And you can get a lot of money for the skin. Not listening to his sister's pleas, Rashid left with the hunters. Dash what should I do? They will kill Hamza. The girl ran to the mountains, but the cave was empty. There were no traces of blood anywhere nearby. Dash if only the lion could get away from the chase. Amina prayed fervently. Maybe he's not badly hurt. He will recover, just like last time. She sincerely hoped so, besides, the hunters returned empty-handed, cursing that the cursed beast had disappeared, as if it had sunk into the water. Amina breathed a sigh of relief and calmly went to bed, and woke up at night from a gaze. The lion was standing right in front of the bed. Are you hurt? Amina asked, affectionately embracing him and stroking his black mane with her hands. Dash I came to say goodbye, said the lion. Dash where are you going question mark the girl asked sadly. Dash I'm going to die where I was born. Don't worry about me. Dash so we won't see each other again. Amina asked through tears. I'll see you in due time, the beast replied. Dash listen to me carefully. Go to the city with your family. You'll be better off there. And don't be afraid of anything. You're going to be fine. Troubles will bypass your family. Goodbye. I have to go. Dash don't go, Hamza. Dash the girl cried and woke up. The room was completely empty, only the moonlight gently touched her face, as if comforting. A month later, Rashid was assigned to a military unit and the family left. And soon Morocco was attacked, and trouble came to Amina's native land. The last lion disappeared. An ancient belief has come true. She endured occupation, drought and famine together with her family, but withstood all the hardships. And then Amina met her fate a young officer, and lived with him in love and harmony for a long life. Dash grandma, tell me a fairy tale. Dash her great grandchildren gathered around Amina. Dash be patient a little. Here I'll make tea and tell you about the glorious hero Hamza. Curious little eyes look at the old lady with impatience. Amina smiles to her thoughts, pouring green mint tea into small cups. And again there is a story about a noble young man who once defended his native places from troubles and adversities. With their mouths open, the grandchildren listen to about the terrible lion who made friends with a little girl. Atlas lions no longer walk freely in the expanses of the ancient kingdom. They remained only in zoos. And, of course, it all seems like a wonderful fairy tale to children. Or maybe it was really a fairy tale that Amina dreamed of as a child. 
after all, so many years have passed. But in a small wooden box there is a boar's fang, reminding of a faithful friend, a magnificent atlas black maned lion.